Now developing news, a local teacher who is facing serious disciplinary action has been cleared of any wrongdoing. Joanne Mora was threatened by a high school student who threw a chair at her. The whole thing caught on camera. The student was expelled, but then Mora's job was put on the line for the way she reported the incident. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner joins us now with more live in New Bedford. Shannon, after repeated delays, the teacher at the center of this case, center of this case and administrators finally met to discuss what happened here and the accusations against this veteran educator. We are now told it's water under the bridge. The video spread like wildfire. 18-year-old New Bedford High School student Kamar Rosellis throwing a chair at teacher Joanne Mora after she took away his cell phone in late March. Rosellis was ultimately expelled, but the focus soon turned to Mora, accused by the headmaster of failing to properly report the incident. She even faced termination. That notion was put to rest Thursday. Miss Mora has been completely exonerated of all charges. Lou St. John of the district's teachers union spoke on Joanne Mora's behalf. After all the facts were presented, the administration agreed that Miss Mora had done absolutely nothing wrong and that they will be uh, they, she will be receiving a letter telling her that she's been exonerated of all the charges against her. Last week, outraged city councilors voted unanimously to oppose any disciplinary action. Everyone from, from Boston to Providence and all over uh, was focusing in on this case. So I do feel that public pressure had something to do with this outcome. This issue is resolved and there will be nothing else. And they assured me that this is it. St. John says administrators offered their apologies to Joanne Moore, but St. John says Moore felt like she was living under a dark cloud and that she still intends to retire from the New Bedford district at the end of the school year after over a decade and a, or after a decade and a half, I should say. Live in New Bedford tonight with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.